If you're a Samsung Galaxy Note user, then you'll know there's been a trend for the stylus wielding series to take what the latest Galaxy S smartphone has started and to enhance upon it, while also debuting some new features. However, when the Note 7 hit a bump and fell over, only to be recalled in its entirety back in 2016 due to potentially faulty batteries, it wasn't clear if that process was going to continue, or in what fashion. Samsung's immediate mobile future seemed to be in question for a brief time. But the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus came out swinging, immediately making their mark as some of 2017's best flagship phones. Now the Note 8 drives things further forward, continuing the good work started by the Note 7, while introducing a dual camera as the big new hardware change. The Galaxy Note 8 is the most advanced Samsung phone to date and very much at the top of its game. In the same breath, however, the growth of the Galaxy S8 Plus leaves the Note 8 feeling less of a unique proposition. Much of the difference comes down to the Note 8's S Pen stylus inclusion, and whether that fits the way you like to work. There's rivalry within the Samsung Galaxy household. Here's how it all plays out. Samsung Galaxy Note 8 Review design and build 6.3 inch mold 18.5 colon 9 display 162.5 x 74.8 x 8.6 millimeters 195 G metal and glass design integrated S Pen stylus IP68 water and dust proofing protection glance at the note 8 and you'll see the hallmarks of Samsung's recent design a metal core with curved glass front and back, for a tight and seamless finish. It's an obvious evolution of the Note 7 design, one that incorporates the Galaxy S8's biggest design shift, that the display aspect ratio is 18.5:9, for a longer and less wide panel. This brings the Note 8 a similarity to the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus, which launched earlier in 2017 with the Note only eking out a fraction of an inch more to expand to 6.3 inches. That makes it the biggest of those three Galaxy devices. Those who aren't savvy with the shift in screen aspect may think this results in a huge phone, but the Note 8 is not. At 162.5 mm tall, it's 4 mm taller than the iPhone 7 Plus. But what it gains in height it more than trims by comparison in width, at 74.8 mm wide, the Note 8 isn't as wide as the larger iPhone model 77.9 mm girth. Which is really important. Samsung's aim is to deliver screen space without expanding the width, making for a phone that's easy to grip and manageable one-handed. And it's mission accomplished. That shift in aspect sees some big changes for the face.